Bismillah, the possible causes of schizophrenia, okay, which is covered in the three perspectives here, uh, may be caused by overactivity or underactivity of dopamine. Dopamine is basically a particular uh, hormone, uh, okay, uh, which you know reflects uh, the reward system of a person. Okay, so there's probably an overactivity or underactivity of dopamine areas of the brain. So what does dopamine do? Dopamine actually makes you feel good and makes you want to do it again. So it's basically a pleasure, uh, you know, a hormone here. Now, what does it mean here? So overactivity of dopamine, this is where it causes them to really uh, be rewarded a lot and like to do more things. Like for example, um, under the flat effect, okay, under the flat effect, uh, they would somehow just feel elated, okay, and just, you know, laugh out loud in a funeral for example which highlights that there's a you know over activity of dopamine whereas under activity of dopamine could be that you are becoming less and less responsive okay again like flat effect uh, so you know when a person cracks a joke uh, you know the, the there's under activity of the dopamine <coughs> for you to laugh okay so therefore ended up this person does not even laugh at all even though the joke is very funny so there's an example uh, the possible causes here that means the dopamine, okay, the dopamine sector here. So that's why certain disorders, yeah, certain mental disorder, it requires drug to actually help them to cope with it. Okay. Like for example, if the cause is actually happening at the brain level, at the at the hormonal level, for example. So a person, a client, a patient may need drug to actually stimulate uh, this particular areas of the brain that is causing them to experience the uh, psychological disorder. Uh, so in the case whereby there's an overactivity of dopamine area, then you know the, a depression might be relevant, okay, to somehow slow down the activity, okay, of a certain part of the brain. Now there's also genetic and brain structure defects, okay. These are more serious things here. Now, which I'm <coughs> there's also a, a small percentage of heredit hereditary factors, okay. Now, which I'm from genetic, lah, from the father, from the mother, or from the line. Of the parents or grandparents and etc there so there's a small percentage of that okay that predicts uh, whether uh, uh, another person another next generation is going to have it or not now uh, there's also brain structure defect uh, meaning to say that there's certain brain damage in a certain particular area of the brain uh, that may uh, cause the symptoms of schizophrenia patient uh, more more severe okay and uh, also among the factors would be people uh, with its genetics may develop okay if exposed to environmental and emotional stress now here i'm not saying that uh nak katanya the point here that's why i keep repeating that the percentage is very low let's say if you find it that uh in your family history okay even in your current family members here even a distant uh, uh even a distant family member pun uh, is suffering from schizophrenia don't it but you know don't don't be particularly worried okay just be cautious to, to a, 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 a nice amount of cautious, but don't be over, over paranoid. Okay, don't be paranoid that you know you might have it, you might have it, you might have it there. Okay, because why? Even though there's genetic factor, it also revolves around the interaction with the surrounding. Okay, interaction with the environment. So remember again, nature and nature, right? And they need they need to work together in order for something to happen. So even though a person has the genetic of schizophrenia, okay. Uh, however, it depends on the environment as well, whether the environment may activate this particular part of gene inside their genetic. Uh, okay, so that's why, you know, have proper support, have proper education, be educated well to identify early so that you can have proper help, okay, uh, etc. There. So, so uh, uh, there are some cases whereby it's helpless, okay, uh, however, symptoms can be controlled okay and help can be uh, gotten okay uh, people can actually be helped uh, if you know they, they get proper support in particular they still can live okay just that it depends on the severity of the symptoms in particular so this is schizophrenia and the possible causes